Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Katie and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys another weekly grocery haul. And if you are one of my regular subscribers, then you already know this. But for those of you that are new, um, I do a lot of different types of videos here on my channel, but one type of video that I absolutely love to do is grocery hauls. Um, I like to watch them. Um, I love to get ideas from other people, you know, what they're buying, what they're making, what they're cooking. Um, and I love to film them. I think it's fun. So I film these videos pretty much every single week here on my channel. And usually it's a Walmart grocery haul just because that is where I prefer to shop for groceries as far as like prices go for um, near me. So this is a Walmart grocery haul, but I also went to Target this week. And so I'm including my Target haul in this video as well. I'll show you the Walmart haul first, then I'll show you the Target haul. Um, so this is gonna be like a really big haul video, which I am so excited about. Also, since I enjoy um, making these videos so much and also watching these, I thought it'd be really, really fun to host a grocery haul collab. So I think this is my very first like big um, grocery haul collab that I'm hosting. So I'm super excited about it. And I have a lot of amazing ladies that are joining me on this. And we have a big mega playlist full of grocery hauls from all over different parts of the US, which is cool because, you know, there's regional things. We also have some ladies from different parts of the world, which I think is so cool. I always like watching those international grocery hauls because they have such different brands and items than we have here um, in the States. So it's gonna be super fun. If you enjoy watching my haul videos, then I know you are going to love watching this and you might even find some new ladies that you want to subscribe to and um, get some more grocery haul content. So after you get done watching this video, make sure go on down to my description box and I will have the link to the playlist with all of those videos on there. Um, and I just wanna say a big thank you to all of the ladies who joined me um, in this grocery haul collab today. So let's get to it. Let me show you what I got at Walmart. As always, I do include the prices and those will pop up on the bottom of the screen. I did have a few Ibotta rebates, so I'll include that in the prices. If you don't have the Ibotta app, please use my code when you download it. Um, you can link it up so it's completely digital to your Walmart account and it helps with saving money, which in this economy with like the inflation and everything, who wouldn't want to save a little bit of money, especially when you're grocery shopping. So. Make sure you check that out. And now I'm going to show you what I got at Walmart. Okay, so we're going to start over on this side today. I got a big thing of celery and some lettuce. I got this little tub of grated Parmesan cheese. I've been needing some more Parmesan and there was, I bought a rebate for this one. Usually I don't get the kind that comes like in a tub, but I don't know. I'm going to try it out because I had the rebate for it. So I made it a pretty good deal. I got a big party size bag of the Smart Food Popcorn. The kiddos love that and I'll be honest, I like it too. And then these are my favorite tortilla chips, the Santitas brand. We're gonna be doing tacos one night for dinner and I'm going to be making a yummy dip to go along with that. So we needed some chips. I got one cucumber and I got some cottage cheese. That's my husband's favorite. And then we needed some more sour cream, especially for taco night, because I love sour cream on my tacos. Um, I got two steaks for my husband to make for me and him one day this week. And the kids will eat something different because they are not, they don't know the delicacy of steak yet. <laughs> they, they will not try it. So I grabbed this big um, three pound bag of oranges. The kids have been really into those lately. I got a big, huge thing like two pounds of ground beef. I can make some um, for tacos and then the other half I'll probably freeze for chili next week or whatever. And I got some more bananas. They're a little bit green, so we'll give them a day or two to ripen up. That's everything that I got over on this side. Let me flip you around, show you the other side. Okay, here's what I got on this side. We'll start over here. So like I said, my husband's going to be making steak this week. And are you guys like steak sauce fans or not? 
sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't, but I haven't had it in forever. So I decided to just get it and uh, we'll try it. And then to go along with that, I got this steak marinade from Laurie's and it says it, it's like a 15 minute marinade. So my husband, he always tries different stuff, but I saw this on the Walmart app and I don't think we've tried this before, but I don't know. It looks really good. So we're going to try that marinade on our steak. I needed some more taco sauce. We really like to put this on our tacos. Just gives it a good little flavor. And then um, I said I'm going to be making a dip for uh, taco night. And I made this recently. I even did like a little shorts video on my YouTube channel. So you can go back and watch that if you're curious. But it's a super easy three ingredient dip. And you use a block of Velveeta cheese. And I just get the Walmart brand to save a little bit of money. And then you need a can of Rotel, and then you use a roll of the Jimmy Dean sausage and mix it all together, and it makes a super yummy, cheesy dip. We also got some tortillas, just the Walmart brand. And then I've been craving pancakes. We have a bunch of bacon and eggs. We have a friend that has chickens, and so she gives us eggs, so I never have to buy eggs anymore, which is amazing. She's the best. And, of course, they're, like, real, super fresh and so much better than what you can get at the grocery store. So I have a lot of eggs. I have a lot of bacon, and I was thinking, I want to make pancakes this weekend. So I needed some mix. This is, like, my all-time favorite fall coffee. It's the maple pecan um, flavor by the Green Mountain Coffee Roasters, and it's so good. So if there's any of you out there that do not like pumpkin, like myself, I feel like we're always left out because everything is pumpkin in the fall and I don't like pumpkin. So this is not pumpkin and it still has like a fall flavor and it's so good. So um, definitely worth the price. This is my favorite salsa, this Chi Chi's salsa. It is so good and this is the medium, so a little bit of heat. I grabbed some of these um, great value Texas toast with the cheesy on it. These are good. Me and my husband like to have these as a little snack. Um, they're really yummy. I love Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. These things are like my cleaning um, holy grail. <laughs> I love them. They work so, they seriously are magic. They work so good. And so um, there was, I bought an offer for them. So I decided to stock up while I had a you know, can get them a little cheaper. Same with this. This is a Glade plug-in that I got for free using the Ibotta app, which I mean, you can't beat free. So we went ahead and got that. And then you guys know our family pretty much goes through one of these a week because especially my youngest, she loves it so much and it is really good cheese. We got this really big container of blueberries. So that's yummy. I got these um, Italian style meatballs. I'm going to make meatball subs one night for dinner this week, and I actually got the rolls that I really like, but Walmart was out of them, so now I have to go try to try to find them somewhere else, but they're like sausage rolls, so they're a little bit bigger and, I don't know, heartier than like a plain hot dog roll, so they're really good. I'm going to try to find those and make meatball subs one night, and then I just needed some parchment paper for baking and stuff. I was completely out, so that is everything. <laughs> that I got at Walmart. Okay guys, now I'm gonna show you my Target haul. Okay, this is my little Target haul. I wanted to include it in this video since this is a big haul video and also a collab. Um, I got this Febreze um, Unstoppables air freshener. I love these, they smell really good. And I like to put them in like our closets. We have a haul closet that we put coats and like shoes in and let me just tell you, once those soccer cleats and stuff get in there, it can have a little funk to it, no matter how much you clean it. So this really helps the closet just to smell fresh. And um, Target, the Target app will have coupons for these all the time. So I think I got this for like a dollar twenty nine with the coupon. So to me, that's a really good deal. Um, I got these. These are really like a really quick and easy breakfast for the kids and myself. The kids like them. They give you. Um, a lot of energy they fill you up and there was also an Ibotta offer for this I got um, Ibotta offers for a lot of things because um, they had an offer on there that if you did six um, 
bought six things that had an offer on it. You got an extra three dollars um, added to your account just for buying six items. So that was actually a really good deal. I ended up getting thirteen dollars and fifty cents back total um, just from I bought a rebate. So um, I got some pull ups. These I had a um, I bought an offer for as well. And my three-year-old is completely potty trained except for at night. And it's like half and half. Like sometimes she's dry through the night, sometimes she's not. So I don't really want to risk it yet and be having to wash the sheets every day. So she only wears these at night. Um, these Lint chocolates. This is the Fudge Swirl. These are so good. Have you guys ever had Lint chocolates? So yummy. And these bags were on sale. They were on clearance for $2 and I think 64 cents. Um, so I got two of them because I have two friends that have birthdays coming up and I like to make my friends little um, like gift bags full of little things like this for their birthdays. So I thought that was a really good deal and these are so, so good. So I got two of those. Um, I gr grabbed this thing of paint. I needed just like a tan color, which I think this is. Um, our town is doing like a scarecrow contest and um, all the families or businesses, whoever, can make a scarecrow and then they line them up on Main Street and then they vote and the top three get a prize. So our family is making one and we're making ours to be Mario from the video game. Um, my son has a Mario Halloween costume from last year that kind of was already like the feet were like ripped and stained. So I was like, this is perfect. We will stuff the costume and make a Mario scarecrow. <laughs> so my thought for the head is... I'm going to use a milk jug and I'm going to paint it tan so it looks more like, you know, skin color. So that's what I got that for. I got this deodorant for myself. Um, deodorant can be kind of expensive, I have found, and I don't like generic brands. I like this degree brand. I also like Dove and I like Secret. Those are kind of the three brands that I'll stick to, um, but I'll switch out between those brands just depending on what I can get for cheaper. And so there was, a, I bought an offer for this. So I went ahead and got it. I also got this for my husband. It's like a um, deodorant spray because there was, a, I bought an offer for this. And I wanted to reach that um, $3 bonus. So that's why I got those and then we'll just have them. I got this for myself. I needed some more. This is like the, how do you say it? My cellar cleansing water, um, just the generic Target brand. And I use this to take off like, um, my makeup at the end of the day and stuff. I've been using it for several years and I really like it. I got this cute little purple pocketbook. It has like this little chain on it. One of my daughter's, um, friends from church is turning 10. And so I wanted, we wanted to get her like a little gift. And, um, I looked like she's not really into toys anymore cause she's 10 and she's into craft stuff, but I didn't really see anything I liked. But she's super into like fashion, which I think is adorable. And so I saw this um, pocketbook and it was on clearance for $5.40. And I just thought that this looked very young girlish, you know, and I thought that we could get like some chapsticks and stuff to put inside and give that to her. So I went ahead and got that. The next thing I got is some of these go-go squeeze. These are the fruit and veggie ones, which I like because each pouch has a third of a cup of fruit and veggies in it, which I think is awesome. Kids like them and it's like a good way to get those fruits and veggies in to their diet. So half of them are strawberry flavor, which actually has apple, strawberry, and zucchini. And the other um, half is peach, which has apple, peach, and sweet potato. So those sound good. I grabbed some more of these Gain Fireworks. I use these, not this specific kind, but some kind of like scent beads with every load of laundry. Keeps our laundry smelling so good. I just love it. And these things can be very expensive also. Um, this particular one happened to be on clearance for $5 and I think 94 cents. And then on the Target app, always check your Target app if you are a Target shopper because there's so many good coupons on there and it's all digital. So you don't even have to do anything, which is the best thing ever. Um, so they had an extra 20% off any scent beads. So made it even cheaper than that clearance price, which is awesome. Um, our dog needed some more dog food, so this is the kind that I got. Um, I've gotten this brand before, and he likes it. We also needed some sandwich bread, so I just got the Target brand, nothing fancy. And then I'm going to be making Mississippi pot roast this week, and I um, got everything else for it, but totally forgot about the au jus gravy mix, so I had to pick up one of those. 
Okay, now this I'm super excited about, you guys. Okay, this is a toaster. Um, we have a toaster, and it's a double toaster, so you can do like four pieces of bread at a time. We got it when we got married, you guys, and we've been married for 10 years. So, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but it's just, it's getting old. Like, the the writing and stuff on it has, like, scratched off. It just, I don't know. It takes up so much space on our counter, and, you know, we kind of have limited counter space as it is. So, I've been wanting to get something new and smaller for a while. And this one I happened to see today at Target. It was a $40 toaster on clearance for $19.99. And then I saw, I didn't even notice this at first, it's a touch screen. I'm like, what? So it doesn't have any like buttons on it besides the um, lever to push the stuff down. So it has like the bagel, the frozen, the reheat. You can pick your shade of toastiness. I think that this is so cool. Like I'm so excited to plug it in and try it out and it's going to look so like sleek. I don't know. I'm super excited about it. And it's just so funny. Like as we get older, or at least this is true in my life, as we get older, it's like the little things like this that excite us, <laughs> like new appliances and new cleaning supplies. And, ah, uh, you know, this, that's just how it is, <laughs> at least for me anyway. So super excited about this toaster. The next thing that I found was this cold brew coffee maker. And I love, this is like a white matte, sleek, very sleek, very fancy looking. I don't know. I love how modern it is, but it's a cold brew coffee maker. And I'm not a huge cold brew fan. My husband likes it, but I prefer to have like hot coffee or iced coffee, which has a completely different taste to me than cold brew. Like I can taste the difference between cold brew and iced coffee. But anyways, this was $19.99. It was on clearance for $5.99. So I grabbed that. My brother, uh, I'm going to give that to him for Christmas because that is such a good deal and he loves making cold brew. So um, when I find stuff like this for like such a good price, I have a whole tote in my basement that I save stuff for Christmas gifts and it really helps me at Christmas time. I'm able to save money and give my family and friends more expensive gifts than, you know, I would have been able to and it just works out so good. It also saves me like the stress of trying to find something at the last minute. So I shop all year long for Christmas. So I'm super excited that he is going to get this. And along those same lines, I also found this um, LOL tween Barbie doll thing. <laughs> if your kids like these, then you know all about them. My daughter loves them. These things are expensive too. Like <laughs> they're ridiculous. I think it was around $25 full price. It was on clearance also for $5.99. So I went ahead and grabbed that to save for her for Christmas and she will just be super excited. Um, so that is everything that I got here. I did grab a few cold things. So let me grab those. I stuck them in the fridge. Let me grab them out and show you. Okay, these are the three um, cold items I got. I grabbed a pound of ground beef. I don't usually buy that at Target, but I needed some, and Target is super close to our house, and I was there anyways, so I just went ahead and got it. Um, I also grabbed some more Go-Gurts because we we're about to run out, and the kids love those, and these are like the Halloween ones with glow-in-the-dark tubes, so that's fun. And then I got some of these yogurt pouches. The kids really like those. And there's also a, um, I bought an offer for both of these yogurts. So that helped me um, reach that six item threshold so that I could get the extra $3 bonus. So those are the cold things that I got. And that concludes my Target haul. Okay, so that was my Walmart and my Target haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments if you did. And please go check out that playlist, show my friends some love. And like I said earlier, you never know, you might find somebody new to watch that you also enjoy. If you, like, I know I'm a YouTuber, but I also enjoy watching YouTube. And so I'm always looking for new um, ladies, their channels that, I don't know, that you feel like a connection with or that you just enjoy watching. So I'm always on the lookout for new channels. And so I know that you guys probably are too. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I really appreciate the support. I love you guys. Hope you have a great week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.